It is quite remarkable technology. It's, it's kind of like um, forensic CSI approach to learning about shark biology and, and occurrences. The nuts and bolts of, of finding white sharks is kind of, um, it's a complicated in some ways and it's really simple in other ways. So the primary method is just classic fishing. So we get a big, dirty hunk of bait and we put it on a hook and we throw it in the water. So it's, it's kind of like normal fishing, but you can imagine like these kind of animals, even in places where they're very common, they're not common. So the chances of them coming across a hook is low. So another method that we're using is a slightly more, I guess not advanced, um, a new method, which is called eDNA. So that stands for environmental DNA. And the idea is just like us, we constantly are shedding little bits off of our skin, right? So do sharks and, and in fact most organisms. So really smart geneticists have realised that because these animals are moving around in the water, so this happens on, in um, fresh water as well, you can take a, a water sample and filter it down and analyse all the fragments, little tiny molecules that, that um, are left over in that water and we can identify the DNA of shark species specifically. So we're doing that too. All around the island every day we're taking water samples and we're filtering them down and in the next few weeks we're going to hit the lab and we're going to try to identify what kind of species have been here in the past. And that's a really, really powerful method because it means that for us to catch a, a shark on a hook like this, it has to see the hook and come to the hook. But the, this eDNA method is really useful because we can infer from the DNA fragments whether the animal's been here in the past few days, right? So it's, in that way, it's a really powerful method. We also need to often do oceanographic modeling because we might pick up a fragment here, but it may have come from there. You know, this is like needle in a haystack kind of stuff, really. Um, but we, we try to maximize the the, the chances of um, finding that needle.